It's 2024 and I will no longer be riding on the world tour. Hey everybody, welcome back and I hope you all had a good Christmas and wish you all the best for 2024. I am really excited for this year because I get to do something that I've always wanted to do and that's create content with some amazing brands that support me. I'm going to be planning to do a lot more travel, make some really sick videos and get to some waves that I've always wanted to surf before as well as spending good times with my friends and family. This will happen while doing coaching with Bodyboard Holidays, as well as running the Boogie Everyday merch shop and the membership platform. The aim of both the coaching and the membership is to give people the opportunity and the chance to get better on the bug, learn more and enjoy riding waves like I do. We have set up bodyboard coaching weekends, private coaching, as well as a week long retreat in Newquay in September. And we will be going to Nusa Lombongan in October. So there's a lot to look forward to there. Right now, I feel like I'm getting drawn more towards coaching and helping people by entertaining them through the videos. I wanna give back with knowledge on the sport of bodyboarding and help people excel in the sport. The membership will focus on going deeper into training as well as tips and tricks and behind the scenes content from trips that we do here in the UK as well as abroad. This will be boosted by a podcast once a month as well as some added extras, we are dropping our latest design on Boogie Every Day called Street Art Boogie. This is a really cool design, something really different and fun, and bodyboarding always leaves you with a smile on your face. So that's why we kept up with that trend with this new design. This is all available right now on BoogieEveryday.com. There are three main reasons why I won't be doing the world tour in 2024. The first is competitive edge. Moving to the UK was no small feat. And I saw that it had taken a toll on my riding when I went into the 2023 season. I just felt like I lacked the edge that I've had over the years. And that was down to the fact that I cannot put 100% into competition riding. When it comes to competing, there are huge sacrifices involved with getting to the top. Family, friends, relationships and other endeavors all take a back seat in your obsession to be the best. I have done this for a long time and put myself selfishly in priority. It is something that may be hard to understand, but all of us as athletes at the highest end need to do this in order to get to the top. For my family and especially Rosie, this meant that it was always me first. They always understood this and gave me these opportunities with no arguments, but I just feel like I need to change. I don't wanna do that anymore. I would like to pursue YouTube, working with cool brands, coaching, and work on my personal relationships, which have become exceptionally important to me. This is something that I am working towards getting better at day by day. Without putting 100% into these events, I feel like I've lost the drive to compete with the top guys. I'm still driven to riding at the highest level I possibly can, and I have no doubt that I'm still on top of my game, and I'm excited to keep pushing my riding to the next level. The second reason would be financial. Financially, I am just not able to sustain traveling the world and competing. The tour costs around £10,000, and although my sponsorships really help me to get to these places, there is nothing really in return for them. This is an expensive part of the sport of bodyboarding. In 2022, I spent about £4,000 in seven weeks in South America and ended up putting myself in a tough financial situation. I don't wanna keep doing that, and my goal is to work towards a more sustainable lifestyle where I can be financially stable. I don't know if competing will form part of the sustainability in the long run, but I really hope it does happen again. I really do love to compete, and I think if I can get some financial freedom that I'm looking for, I can focus on putting more time into the competition riding. But I will still look to get to a few events if they work for me. And lastly would be the current situation of the world tour. I don't think this should be a negative dig towards the current management and it's not going to be. I think they are doing a decent job with what they have, but there are some issues of riders not getting paid, 
media limitations, and small things that could just be done better. The fact is that when I started the tour in 2013, the prize money was a total of $30,000. Now, 10 years later, that is still the same, and with some events, even less because guys are getting taxed. This is not the first time that there have been issues with the world tour, and I doubt it will be the last. However, I also believe that the tour is important for riders to be noticed and to be seen. I mean, that's how I got to where I am today and why I have the following and support on all the platforms that I do. Right now, I just need to take a break and look to get myself set up for my own future. Hopefully, competitive bodyboarding will still factor into my life at some point and I really look forward to supporting my friends and the IBC this year. Part of the move to the UK was for better opportunities to see new places and to be able to travel more. But most importantly, it was to be in a healthier, happier state of mind. I feel that there are factors that have all happened and continue to contribute to me being in the place that I would like to be. As some of you may know, in 2017, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which is an inflammatory bowel disease in the large intestine. This autoimmune disease is brought on by stress and anxiety. This started from being in a tough financial stress over the world tour and seemed to be boosted by other life stresses. Everyone has their own problems and getting sick, not being able to bodyboard or even go outside was not fun. I am not willing to do that again in order to chase the tour. Happiness is a huge part of my life and something that I value over any world title or event win. I will always want to get a second world title, but honestly, that's not what it's about anymore. Enjoying the ocean, getting to bodyboard, sharing waves with other like-minded people, producing clips and traveling to good waves is way more appealing for me right now. This year, I will be working with brands that support me, have the same values that I do, and are keen to stand behind me as we take this adventure to the next level. I hope to have you with me on this journey through 2024. I'm looking forward to more good times on these adventures, so I want you to sit back, relax, and boogie every day.